Welcome to the Vegas Show from the beautiful Golden Nugget in downtown Las Vegas. Today's guest, mentalist Jerry McCambridge. I'm very afraid. Yes. Don't be, don't very be. Very afraid. Um, what is a mentalist? What is a mentalist? I, I, I can influence your thoughts and I can also figure out what you're thinking. What's the, the difference between that and a psychic? Uh, a psychic talks to the dead. I oh. have enough trouble communicating with the living, so I don't talk to the dead. It's, uh, okay. there, there's nothing psychic or supernatural about what I do. It's, it's a combination of a learned skill and also uh, I, I was kind of born with a, a heightened sense of intuition. Now, is that, is that similar to... The skills that are. You, you really don't mind good. if I jot as I'm talking Go to you, ahead. do you? Okay. Is that similar to the skills that a really good detective would have? It's kind of like a modern day Sherlock Holmes. I, yeah. I, I look at things, I observe things, uh, I, I, I know from body language and the way that you're looking at me and the eye contact and the posture, I can figure things out about you. Statistically, I know what the average person thinks. So I, do you I can score say things. really well with the chicks in? <laughs> Do you? I mean, like, is How am I doing? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should sit here. Can you want to switch? switch? Well, switch, because, you know, I feel, I feel that energy between, because, you know, I, I feel that luck. I'm, you know, I'm picking something up from her, and I don't know what it is. Uh, See, now I'm really scared. Now, the... Here, check this out. Shh, don't say anything, okay? Okay, Does okay, that all right. I don't know. I have a I'm feeling you're, you're focusing on something. Uh, I don't know what this means. Maybe you can explain it to us. Okay. That's not very nice. Okay, see, I was trying no, to wait, think. Wait, 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 wait. See, he's doing it too. I, 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 I have no idea. See, he's trying to think of like pink elephants and stuff like yeah. that. He saw what I did to you and he thought, no, no, no. That's he's it. not. I'm putting uh, the uh, right now. See, that, 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 that was Jaguar, okay? That was my very first car. Oh, okay. Uh, d d w w were you thinking about a woman or, or a girl? You want me to think about it or you want me to tell you? I, I, I've jotted something down. I don't know what this means. It may not apply to you. Right. Uh, I just jot down what I think and most of the time it happens to be right. What right. were you thinking? About my first girlfriend? Yeah. Her name maybe? Yeah. Just Her first name. name. Just first, first name. Yeah. Vicky. Vicky? Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's what I was getting. Okay. That's As I said, easy. Oh. Now, I, I read a quote of yours that said, I'm going to get this right, the littlest things that seem invisible to you scream out clues to me. Yes. And, oh. and I can provoke you to think of things by things that I actually say. So I may say something and watch the way that you react and realize, okay, that means something to her or it doesn't mean something to her or, or he's lying or he's telling the truth and then I kind of work with it from there. Oh, well... We're so like you, you swinging on the chair there, moving yeah. very uh, yeah. uh, uncomfortably, uh, that's telling me a lot right there. What does it tell you? Is it telling you a lot? Now look at him, he's trying to do the opposite, he's trying to do... <laughs> yep, not a problem. It's not that. Hold that thought, hold that thought, hold. because here's the thing, we're going to... Could you come back and do another segment later for us? Can I use them? Can you say... That's okay, perfect. Audience, Come us? back towards the end of the show, so don't go away, and you're going to work with some of the audience, and you're going to scare the living daylights out of them. Where are you okay? moving to? Where are you moving to? Where are you moving to? Okay, we're going to try something uh, with you. Before we begin, uh -huh. I want you to make sure that I don't have any electronics. Nobody can speak to me. There's nothing inside of my ear, correct? Yep. Check this side out, too. You could clean them a little, but they look good. Thank you. Uh, I'm a mom. You asked me to look in your I'm ears. a dad. What does that mean? I don't oh. do hygiene tips on you. Uh, Brian, <laughs> a, a, as soon as I, I start to blindfold myself, I'd like you to go through the audience, and uh, everyone in the audience is going to take out a personal item, something creative. Don't take out keys or coins. I can hear those a mile away. You just choose two of the items after I'm blindfolded, and you bring the items up and place them here. Can we do that? Sheena, check this out. Keep uh, it first clean, off, Brian. It's a leather blindfold. Picked this up in Greenwich well, Village a few weeks ago. Uh, check it out. I know that you're familiar with these kind of things. Uh, 
Nah, I'm teasing. Make sure that it's solid. There's no electronics on the inside, that it's on the up and up. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. I've noticed over the years that if you take away one sense, it increases the others. Okay. Uh, it's something I did on my TV show. I have two silver dollars. Check them out. Make sure that they're solid. There's no holes, no openings in them. Brian, yep. get ready. I'm almost ready to rock. I got I'm going to take man. just one of these here. Take the first coin, place it inside the piece of duct tape, and I'm going to wedge this in the socket of my eye. Make sure it's going in there, Sheena. Okay. Push on that, make sure it's nice and secure, nice and tight. Number two, as soon as I place this one over the other eye, I will become blinded. So you will hand me the rest of the pieces just one at a time, sticky side up. As soon as this goes on, Brian, you're ready to rock. Number two, see you in a few minutes. All right, there, out. Push on that, get your next piece ready, sticky side up, please. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Brian, you can start to get the items, get two of them, two uh, creative items, and bring them up, place them on the table. We'll put one here. I know Sheena is dying to put one across my mouth, but we're going to resist that temptation. All right, here's your last one. Last one, and then we'll go for the blindfold. Got it. Itself. Blindfold, please. Brian, bring the items up. Tell me when you're up here. Tell me when the items are on the table. I'm, I'm going to make my way back. Now, where do you want me to put it? Uh, just put them, uh, right here, just put them right here in front of uh, Sheena and I. Yeah, you know what? Right here. Now tell me, Sheena, uh, is, is there a monitor? Do, do, do people, can people see what these are in the audience? Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, you are such a big kid. What's happening? <laughs> You're dealing with Brian McKnight. He's just a big baby. Brian, I, I gave you Vicky before. Do I have to go into this a little deeper? Well. <laughs> just take the mic and go out there, please, and I'll, I'll go easy on you. I'll uh, do as I'm told. All right, uh, both. Of the objects right are on the table now, Jay. Okay, uh, I, I, Sheeta, pick up one of the objects. Quietly pick it up. Okay. Hold it above my head. Now, whoever owns this object, whoever gave this to Brian, please stand up. Hi, Jerry. H how are you? Fine, and you? Good. Have we met before? Did we set this up? No, we haven't, you, Jerry. You had no idea that you were going to be chosen until Brian actually came over to you. That's correct. This is yours. Uh, let me see if I can figure out what this is. I'm not getting any personal feelings about this with you. It's not something like a piece of jewelry or a watch that you've owned a long time. Uh, uh, it's, it's very small. Uh, some people are thinking to themselves, red. Is this a small red thing, sir? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, a, uh, uh, is there an AR here? I'm getting the initials AR. Does this mean anything to anybody? If there's an AR here, stand up. Brian, is anybody acknowledging those initials? Uh, the woman next to him. Uh, good. Uh, a, uh, A, uh, and uh, Gina, uh, uh, Angela? Yeah, she's nodding. <laughs> she's nodding? She's looking a little scared. It's Angela. Angela, let, let me explain. Let me explain to you what a blindfold is, Angela. You see, I can't see, so you can't answer me like this. It has to be uh, something verbal. Uh, are you from Vegas? Yes, I am. I have a feeling you're from Vegas. Now, listen to the sound of her voice. It's, it's a very compassionate person. It's a very caring person. Whatever this is, if you're still holding it up there, that's a little red ticket, isn't it, Sheena? It's like a little... Uh, yes, it like, is. Like a raffle ticket or something like that. <laughs> Grab the second item. Grab the second item, hold the second item up there. Angela, you're from Vegas, compassionate feelings, uh, loving voice. I have a feeling you're something dealing with people. Uh, are you possibly like a, a, a healthcare worker or, or a nurse or something? I am a registered nurse. You are, okay. <laughs> you have the second item up there? I sure do. Angela, I don't know what this means. It may mean absolutely nothing to you. Somebody else may acknowledge this thought, but what's uh, uh, 9538? That is my address. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do me a favor, folks. If you're going to think of numbers, at least think of credit card numbers and help me out. <laughs> Makes my life easier. Sheena, is the second item up there? Yeah, it is. Whoever has the second item, please stand up so Brian can come over to you. She's say, a cutie. Say, say hi. It's a she? Hi. Yeah. H how are you? Wonderful. <laughs> uh, uh, this is yours? Yes. Uh, now, I do have different feelings coming off of this than I had with the ticket. This is more of a uh, necessity type feelings as opposed to just uh, average type nothing feelings from the other guy. Definitely. Uh, uh, you, you, you've had this for a while, whatever it is? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and you're... Are you hurt? Yes. Uh, is, is there a, is there a, a, a Vaughn here? 
Jim Vaughn, James Vaughn, John Vaughn. How are you, sir? Is this anything to do with you? No. Now, is this some type of crutch, sir? Yes, it is. Is it? Oh, cool. I it hope you get better, my dear. Oh, my God. How do you do that? I'm going to take this off, Sheena, if the crutch isn't right, down. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take that off. That's, uh, that's John, really uh, scary. John, where is he? Hi, sir. How are you? Uh, 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 you're not here. You're here with your wife? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what's Columbia? That's where I'm from. Where, where is that? Missouri. Missouri. Uh, Columbia. Uh, look at the way he's standing. You can actually pick it out from him. Uh, slippery or, go, or, 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 or slick stones or, or, or slick, I, I don't know. Slick rock. Slick rock? Is that what it is? Okay, give him a round of applause. Woo! And I still have eyebrows left. Uh, now, I, I have to say, when I, when I saw your, your TV special, it blew me away. The things that you could do with just people that you met in the street, and knowing that you picked up on what I was thinking on. You're a very scary man. <laughs>